what if your artificial intelligence software can buy online for you suppose you want a headphones and you have a budget to it you put that into your ai software your ai software searches and gets that headphone for you without you doing nothing you don't need to go into different shopping websites you don't need to check reviews you don't need to wait for anything just a confirmation mail will come directly to you this is not something out of science fiction this is already available but what if i tell you the world's biggest e-commerce amazon is trying to block this new technology this is what is exactly happening between Amazon and Publicity as we speak. Hi guys, in today's video, let's see what is happening between Amazon and Publicity. See, let's first discuss about what is this problem and what this software is before we go into the actual issue. See, till now we know that artificial intelligence has transformed the way we think and how we go about our everyday lives. But till now, artificial intelligence has been having its own limitations like it is a passive process. You ask, it will tell. It will not do anything actively for you. Enter agentic AI. This is a revolution. This agentic AI takes part like an active part of your life. Like it can pay your shopping bills from your bank account directly without your knowledge. You just have to give it a prompt. It will play the shopping bills directly. Next is if you want to do online shopping, it will do it for you. And it will only check the different coffee makers. It will see the reviews and it will buy the best one for you. See, till now, what we were doing, we used to go into Amazon, we used to check reviews, we need to ask friends and then buy a coffee machine. But now you just have to put it into this AI and this AI will do everything for you. Now, this is where Publicity has gained traction. See, Publicity has come as a direct competitor to Google because it is a conversational search engine. That is, it helps you to be a part of a conversation. Let's not get into that. Let's speak about this agentic AI. This agentic AI is a part of the Comet. Comet is an alternative to Google Chrome. This is also like a browser. This Comet has this agentic AI and they are offering this agentic AI as a part of this Comet such that you can use it for online shopping. So the next time you want to shop something, you can put it into that and it will only go log into your account, search for the different products, see the reviews, compare different products and for your budget, it will get the best product for you. But always when new technology comes, the old guard gets insecure. But the whole irony of all this is Amazon is blocking perplexities, this agentic AI technology. But perplexity is one of major financiers is Jeff Bezos, who is the founder of Amazon. With this new online shopping experience where you just have to put it into AI and AI is going to buy for you, Amazon has put a cease and resist notice on perplexity. Why they have put it, let's see the points. The first one they say is, when you enter into this Amazon app or website, you agree to the terms and conditions. In that terms and conditions, they clearly say that no bots can be allowed inside. The main reason why Amazon is telling this is because when a new product comes in, suppose a PS5 comes in, sometimes a lot of bots enter in and they book all these PS5s in such a way that the site traffic is reduced. Amazon wants to prevent this and dealers can sometimes do this to prevent the site from crashing. But Amazon wants to clearly prevent this and that is why in this terms and services document, they have this point. This comment with this agentic AI clearly violates it. That is the reason they are saying. The second point they are saying is the very heart of Amazon's shopping experience is how a user can go through the products, read the review and buy it. Not only that. Once they buy a product, there is another related column down where it says that what other users are bought. That is when you buy a shoe, then there will be an option for socks also to be bought. So this is one way, a good business model for Amazon and it has clicked for them in the past. But now with this agentic AI, what will happen? Now, if I want a shoe only, I will tell it to AI and AI will buy only the shoe for me. Now, this is a loss of business for Amazon and Amazon are clearly telling that this is the heart of our business experience where customers are personalized and they can buy different products. The main aim of Amazon is when you buy one product, they don't want to buy only that product. They want you to buy 
three products. That's why that column comes users also bought. But with this new AI technology, AI will only buy things which are needed for you. Now, this is a loss for Amazon. So Amazon are clearly saying that this is affecting our business model. But the third most valid point which Amazon have told in this is that this Comet, which has this agent AI, suppose it gets hacked, what will happen? The privacy gets affected because for this agent AI to go into your Amazon ID, it needs the username and password and it will go into it. What if there is a major hack and everybody's username and password goes out? That is a problem they are saying. The second thing is, what if this AI mistakes your command and buys 100 different products? Now what you will do? This is what Amazon is saying. This is Amazon's side of the argument. Now let's see perplexity side of the argument. The first thing they have taken is the moral high ground. They are simply saying that this is a David versus Goliath battle. By telling that they are a startup, a big corporate company is trying to crush them. By telling this, they are just saying that they are trying something new with new technology, but a corporate giant is trying to crush them. This is the first point. The second counterpoint they are saying is what Amazon is saying that it is like a bot. Their terms and services clearly tells that we don't allow bots inside and they have their own reasons for it. But what perplexity is saying is we are not bots. We are just extension of a user. We are going to do what the user tells us. If the user tells me buy a shoe, I'm going to buy a shoe. If he tells me to buy two shoes and he gives me specifications and a budget for it, I'm going to buy that. I'm not going to do anything extra. They are giving an example saying that suppose I tell my family member to log into my account and buy something for me. That is not a bot. That is what even this agent AI in Comet is going to do. This is their argument. The second thing they are saying is mainly why Amazon is countering this perplexity agent AI in Comet is the reason is that their ad revenue will be affected. See today what is happening? You go into Amazon, you go, you buy the product you want. But due to ad generation, it will show the products which are being pushed by ads first and then the products which you want. But with Agentic AI with you, this Agentic AI will see the best products. It will see the reviews and you will not be clickbaited by these ads. This is what Publicity is saying that we will overcome these ads. That is why Amazon is scared because when you go in, you will go into the ones which are shown first. And these are the ones which are ad generated. But with Agentic AI, this ad will get surpassed. And in over course of time, ad revenue will stop for Amazon. This is what perplexity mainly says that Amazon is against this agentic AI. And also they are saying that Amazon is accusing perplexity of scrapping. Scrapping is something like they are saying that they are using this agentic AI to come and learn our business model and then they will create their own business model. They are just saying again and again that this agentic AI is just an extension of the user. It was going to do just what the user is telling them. They are not going to go in and learn and they are going to create an alternative shopping experience. No, they are clearly saying that this is just a part of the family of the user and it is going to do what the user tells them. This is the argument from perplexity's perspective. Rather than seeing this as a squabble between two technological giants, let's see it from a common man's perspective. See, the very core of this argument is this is a problem between innovation and control. For years now, the internet has been known for its openness to change. See, when a new technology comes and it is good, people accept it either today or eventually they will accept it. See, before we used to go out to shops to buy, but once Amazon came in, we started buying it from Amazon. That is how Amazon grew. But when something comes now to make this online shopping experience easier, Amazon is resisting it. See, they have their own points to it and I agree to that. But I'm telling this from my perspective. See, always the internet's core growth has been the openness and its welcomeness to change. But resisting that is wrong. See, this is like Amazon following a walled garden phenomenon. That is, they say that I am the owner of this garden and you cannot do anything. Whereas perplexity says that the account owner is the owner of the space which he owns and he decides what he does in that. But Amazon says that the entire garden is mine and I will decide what the user does there. See, this is a little wrong. The second thing is, let's see from the Amazon's perspective only. Amazon is saying loss of ad revenue. Yes, I agree with that because the whole internet runs on ad revenue. Sir. With this agentic AI coming in, what is going to happen? This ad revenue will eventually fall down because we are seeing these ads. That is the reason why we are giving ads. 
But with agentic AI becoming a part of our everyday life, then companies will stop giving ads and a major revenue will be lost for companies like Amazon. See, the future is going to be agentic AI, whether you like it or not. Tomorrow, if I want to go for a vacation, I don't need to go book flights. I don't need to go book hotel rooms. I just need to give the budget and where I'm going to go, where I'm going to go. And agentic AI is going to help me. And that is how softwares develop. And that is how the future develops. But what is going to happen eventually is this ad revenue will be lost. And this is what Amazon is also saying that this will become like our ad revenue being lost and that is why we are resisting it and that is what even publicity are saying amazon is resisting us for this but always i have seen that whenever new software comes and it is good people accept it eventually and the future is going to be agentic ai and we cannot stop it and following this walled garden phenomenon by amazon is not going to be fruitful on a longer run this is because eventually everybody is going to accept this agentic AI and that is going to be the future. See, now it is a basic model and the problems of privacy, everything is coming. Tomorrow, there is going to be a major software update and then this privacy and all problems will be dealt with. That is how software develops. And tomorrow, agentic AI is going to be a part of our family. So when I want to book a ticket, it is going to book a ticket for me and people cannot resist it. So eventually, that is going to be the future. And a middle ground has to be reached with Amazon and perplexity for today to solve the problem. See, there are three ways this is going to pan out. One, Amazon is going to win. If Amazon wins, what is going to happen? It is a clear message to all AI startups. If you mess with technological giants, this is going to happen. And this will be a major predecessor. And many AI companies will start rethinking their business model. Okay, now perplexity wins. What is going to happen? Now, Amazon has to accept the new normal. Actually, this is going to be the future. And Amazon will start taking control of what is going to happen. They might create a separate API to control all these AIs. Something like that will happen. The third thing is a long stalemate can happen and legal battles will follow on. But the very core of this argument is, is Amazon resisting to change? Okay, what they are saying is user privacy. That is something very agreeable and a very valid point about the security and privacy concerns of users. Because if tomorrow perplexity gets hacked, all this data can go. But again, this is contracted by perplexity's argument saying that this is just an extension of the user. It's going to do what the user tells him only. It's not going to do anything extra. See, the future is going to be agentic AI and Amazon has to accept this new reality. This is my view. But at the same time, user experience, privacy and everything has to be taken into account because Today's business model is you go in, you see the product, you read the review and buy. With agentic AI, it is going to be actually very helpful for the customers. But Amazon is saying that users privacy can go because of this, because it can get hacked and there are security concerns. Many bots can enter, the app can get hacked and crashed. This is what they are saying. So both sides of the argument seem fine, but the future is heading towards agentic AI. And the real question is, is Amazon ready for it? And or they are going to still follow this walled garden phenomenon saying that this garden is mine. I will decide what I am going to do. Let's wait and see what is going to happen.